What is going on, boys and girls, noobs and campers, trolls and tryhards? My name is Dr. Warfarius, and today I would just like to thank you all so very much for 400 subscribers. I consider you guys as my friends. I'm not up on this high pedestal. You guys are my friends, and you just enjoy my content, and I enjoy putting it out to you. So I just want to say thank you guys all so very much for that. And here's a question that I have been asked very often is how do you make thumbnails even though you're not partnered and I will show you how it is very simple and very easy so let's get started first off you're gonna have to download a free program called GIMP now GIMP is just basically like Photoshop yeah it um it's free it's free it's good it's easy to use it's just takes about a couple days of getting used to but after that you're you're an expert basically um, Anyway, so okay, so we have GIMP opened up, and we're gonna want to go over to File. And we're gonna want to click on New. Now we want this to stay at 640 by 400. We don't. If this is by is 640 by 480, we don't want that because it's gonna cut off the ends of your videos, the cut up the top and the bottom. So 640 by 400 is the perfect preset. Okay, we have that. So now what do we do? We don't have a toolbox, so we need to go over to the tools, and then we need to go click new toolbox. New toolbox. So now we have a toolbox. I'm just going to expand it a little bit. So now we well now we have new toolbox. So these down here are your uh, background and foreground colors, and you can you can customize these however you want. I just always usually use black. So and then over here we want to add some text, right? We're going to add some text to our thumbnail. So we double click this. And then there's all these options. You can change the font up here. You can change the size. You can change the color, the hinting, um, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna change the color to orange right here. I, I have this as a preset. You can make these. Change the color to orange. I'm gonna change the size up to 88. Why not? And then when you come over here, you wanna click and you're gonna drag and see how big you want your text box. So let's just say I want my text box to be this big. So, um. Hello, peoples. Oh, I said peepee. -pee. <laughs> peoples. And now we're good. Now, let's say I wanted to import uh, a picture into this. I, like, I got a good picture from my YouTube off for my thumbnail off of Google. So I want to import a picture. Now, here's what you want to do. Before you do anything, you have to go, you're going to go over here and you're going to right click this. Oh, oops. Um, now you're going to come over here and you're going to click on this, the little uh, directional button tool. And you're going to want to click on left click, layer, and then merge down once you know for a fact that you're done. Now you can come up here and always undo things under edit. You can undo everything you do. So if you screw up, you can just undo it. So you want to cl click that because when I import uh, a picture like I'm about to do now, you go over to open, pictures, and you just you open it and it's gonna open it in a separate window you're gonna hit edit copy and then you're gonna paste it right into here now what well, the reason why I had to do it that way was because had I just left that unmerged it would have pasted it into that text box layer that I made and then it would have there would have been ends cut off to it and it would have been bad so Let's say, okay, this looks like crap right now. It's cutting off my stuff. So you come up here and you go to the scale tool. Then you click on the scale tool and you grab it. And you can choose whatever scale you want. You can make it as big as you want, as short as you want, whatever. So you just make it like that. Let's say I want it just right here, just like this. We scale it. Um, you can flip it. You can flip it. You can do uh, all kinds of good stuff. There's tons of cool stuff you can do on this program. So okay, I'm done with my thumbnail. I'm happy with it. I want to put it on YouTube. Here's the most important part. One of the most important parts. Don't hit save as. Save as will save it as a .xcf file, which only GIMP can open. You're gonna want to export it because a .xcf you can't put on YouTube. So you're gonna export it, and you're gonna export it to your pictures or to your thumbnails, which is I have a, um, a folder I made for thumbnails. So you're going to want to export it, you're going to name it, whatever, like, test thumb, I'm, I'm slow typing, dot JPEG or PNG, JPEG, PNG, any of that will work. So you're going to have, have export, you're going to export it, and then now you're good. Now you can go ahead and exit everything out, you can close it without saving because you already exported it, you already have it. 
then this is a long process because they make you exit out like six things because they're scumbags. And you exit this out. Okay, so now you have your thumbnail. Now you need to put it onto YouTube. You have your video lined up. You're ready to go. So you come up here and you click upload. You click upload. Uh, you find a random video. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do that one. We're gonna find a random video. Okay, so we have our video. It's ready to upload. Now we come down here. We scroll down and we have a video thumbnails and you click on custom thumbnail you click here so then you go over to your pictures um, you go to your thumbnails and then you find your thumbnail so I just did the test one so we it is right here we open it up and now we have our thumbnail and then you click on save changes it saves and you're ready to go. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave it a like, a rating, um, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. If you did, if this did help you, I would love to hear about it. Thank you all so very much for 400 subscribers, and I love you all, and thank you very much for viewing.